Silent Hill is back, guys, and I couldn't be more excited about it because not only did, you know, Konami announce a single Silent Hill title, they announced a multitude of Silent Hill titles, which shows their commitment to this franchise when a lot of folks thought that, hey, maybe, just maybe, Silent Hill was in a limbo state or a state of no return. This franchise has proven to be such a juggernaut and so many people across the globe love this iconic horror franchise and I want to talk specifically in this segment of the show about Silent Hill F the very intriguing title that is going to be coming out from Konami and within the Silent Hill universe let's talk about it so guys in an article coming to us from Wessel Mini of Gin X uh, Silent Hill F so this is Konami who unveiled several Silent Hill projects during its presentation on October 19, 2022, including a Silent Hill 2 remake and an entirely new game called Silent Hill F. Fans of the iconic horror franchise are intrigued by the T Silent Hill F game as it looks to bring a completely new story and its dramatic trailer hit home. And I agree. I think that the trailer itself, wow, what it, what it, I mean, from a graphical perspective, I mean, the graphical fidelity of this game looks incredible, but we know that it's just a, a trailer. They, you know, they haven't shown us too much at this point in time, but at least what we've seen, I am very intrigued to say the least. At the time of the writing, there is no release date or even a release year for the Silent Hill F game. It is unclear if this is a placeholder name and what the game's full name will turn out. However, we know that Konami has different developers on all the newly announced Silent Hill titles, therefore the games might not have to release years apart. So the studio that is making this game, guys, is Neobards Entertainment, and the studio co-developed Resident Evil Reverse, if the developer sounds familiar. If we had to make our best guesstimate, Silent Hill F's release date window shouldn't be earlier than October of 2024. So, you know, there's a lot of people asking the question, what is Silent Hill F in terms of what does the F stand for in Silent Hill F? And for me, um, you know, I've got a number of, of thoughts on this, but a lot of people in the horror community have considered this to be uh, the F stands for flower or flowers um, because they're showing off so many different you know, this uh, flower that's essentially overtaking, you know, a town. It's overtaking this girl, the character within the, the trailer. And so a lot of people are thinking that it's a, uh, you know, it's going to be called Silent Hill Flowers or Flower. And for me, um, I believe it's just a code name. I don't believe that this is actually going to be what the title is called. I think it's just a code name. Um, I think that they're taking a page out of Kojima's book where they're trying to mislead the community somewhat. They're trying to uh, give people something to talk about with this title specifically um, in terms of what that F really stands for. And so for me, I believe it's actually going to be called something completely different. I don't think it's going to be called Silent Hill F but time will tell. In terms of the story and setting, guys, the chilling trailer shows streets and fields filled with fog, then focuses on a young woman. How much of Silent Hill F's story will focus on this young woman, or if she is merely a victim to set up suspense remains to be seen. A mysterious red week overtakes the streets, and we see the plants begin to overtake her as well as she tries to flee. It doesn't end well for her. We know that the Silent Hill F story is entirely new, and will play off in 1960s Japan, described as a beautiful yet horrifying world. Further, the famous Japanese visual novel creator Ryukishi 07 is writing the Silent Hill F story. Ryukishi 07 is best known for his, wo uh, his work Higurashi When They Cry, which focuses on supernatural horror mysteries and psychological suspense. Kara is credited with the creature and character design. So what's the, I mean, what is the gameplay going to look like, guys? Well, there is no reason to believe that Silent Hill F will deviate from the franchise's survival horror gameplay. At the time of writing, no official gameplay details for Silent Hill F have been revealed. Konami made it clear that the footage shown in the reveal trailer was not actual gameplay footage. So that's kind of interesting because it's not actual gameplay footage. Um, they're basically just giving you a teaser of what's to come. And for what it's worth, that teaser has got me very excited. I mean, you know, even though um, it's not going to be actual gameplay footage, um, when we actually get the gameplay footage, I'm hoping that the visual fidelity and what the gameplay looks like is looks 
as good as, if not better than what was shown in the trailer. So in terms of some news that we've gotten, guys, we haven't really gotten a lot, but apart from the Silent Hill F announcement news and who the developer is alongside who is writing the story, there has been no new news regarding the upcoming horror title. Further, no leaks around the project have surfaced, which is really interesting to me because when you think about it, a lot of times these games, especially if they're not uh, completely under wraps and just, you know, really co close to the, the vest, um, I, I would say that usually there's leaks that come out somehow or another, and maybe there will be leaks that come in the future. I love it though when there aren't leaks that happen when the actual developer and publisher are able to release things on the timetable they want. From a creative perspective, someone who was, um, you know, studied filmmaking in school, and and I'm very much so obviously in the in within this gaming universe. I think it's really awesome to when the developers and publishers are able to release things when they want. Um, in terms of the platforms, guys, well, one would hope gamers from all platforms, including PC, Xbox, Nintendo, and PlayStation, will experience the new Silent Hill game. That, however, might not be the case, as the Silent Hill 2 remake is a PlayStation 5 exclusive for one year and then will be available on PC as well. It is not out of the question that Silent Hill F could only launch on PS5. However, no launch platforms for Silent Hill F have been confirmed at the time of writing. And, you know, this is a really interesting one. I feel that if Konami wants this to be, to be you know, a globalized title, when it's only an Xbox or a PlayStation or a PC exclusive... Obviously, it's going to limit the amount of people that are playing the game. Now, obviously, guys, we look at games on PlayStation like Last of Us, God of War. I mean, so many people play have played those games. They have millions upon millions of people playing those games. And so if you have it on just the PlayStation or you have it on the flip side, just on the Xbox, you're going to be able to tailor to that fan base. But at the same time, you're kind of missing out on a number of other copies you know, potentially millions of more copies that you could uh, be selling in terms of being on PlayStation, on Xbox, or on PC. And so when you're uh, well-versed or you should, you're well-diversified between all of those platforms, uh, the, I just want this to be as big as possible because I want Silent Hill to continue long into the future. And so with that being said, guys, I would tell you that one of the things, the, the big things that I want out of this title are absolutely going to be, you know, from a gameplay fidelity perspective, as well as, you know, the, the graphics, um, I would love to see, even though the gameplay footage that was shown or that footage that was shown is not actual gameplay gameplay according to Konami I want that to the the graphics to look just as good as if not better than what they showed off I would love to see this be you know the best standalone title that they can make and then if it you know uh, creates multiple more titles ar around it I would be absolutely all for it, but I just want them to crush this title because obviously one of the things that people are thinking in their minds is PT, the playable teaser for Silent Hills, which Hideo Kojima uh, created and it was incredible. Everybody wanted to see Silent Hills happen. It didn't happen. He breaks off and goes off to uh, start his own company, that being Kojima Productions. And so we never got to see that title. So you know, the bar, even though we never saw Silent Hills, the bar's been raised in a pretty massive way because of that teaser that came out from Kojima. And so I think that they have a responsibility, that being Konami, to really knock this thing out of the park so that we get a long withstanding, um, you know, continued franchise for Silent Hill. But let me know, guys, what do you all think about Silent Hill F? I would love to have a real conversation about this in the comment section down below. Go down there, let's talk about it, and for more Silent Hill F content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.